Coming into the 2024 season, the microscope was on Iowa's offense, a unit that struggled the past couple of years. But with a new look, with a new look and improved play, the Hawkeyes have shown positive growth, looking to carry that into its next game against Minnesota. The Hawkeyes have found success in its run game to be specific through three weeks. Running back Caleb Johnson leads the nation in rushing with 479 yards, pacing the Iowa offense that scored seven touchdowns on the ground, averaging 243 rushing yards per game compared to just 116 yards per game a year ago. The Hawkeyes have ran for over 200 yards in three consecutive games for the first time since 2013. Iowa also playing some complimentary football. They've already thrown for four touchdowns through three games on pace to crush its Big Ten worst nine touchdown mark in 2023 to a group that feels its reps have helped the team turn a corner. I think every single week, you know, the more reps that we're getting, you know, the more looks that we're getting from different defenses, um, we're just progressing. And I think that's the best thing that we can do right now. Coach Lester always talks about making it super hectic in practice, right, and making it super hard. So that comes Saturday, you know, it's easier. And, you know, our scouts, they do a great job of working us. And, you know, it, it's a lot harder in practice than it is on Saturdays, and that's the way it should be. And I think we took the approach that last year was last year. And uh, we had, I mean, we're a new new uh, group, new offense. Uh, we leave the pass in the past. Uh, we're going to set a new standard, new, uh, new focus uh, to come out every day and just be hardworking, focus, locked in. The Hawkeyes are in pursuit of its fifth consecutive win over Minnesota in games played in Minneapolis. But last season, it was the Golden Gophers coming away with a 12-10 win over the Hawkeyes in Iowa City. The Hawkeyes averaged only 2.3 yards per play in that loss. Kickoff is Saturday at 6.34 p.m.